Solana, Luna, Matic, price analysis. Matic has behaved in the way that my previous video anticipated. See this point of control within the whole range? I maybe only a wick down to that, come back up to the point of control and then try to bust out. Solana has underperformed my expectations from last video. If it uses the one hour 200 as a resistance point, that is the next stop is about 103 bucks. And Luna did what I expected it not to do. Continued just to go straight friggin' sideways. I don't see a lot of in between. The analysis of each of these three coins is gonna greatly depend on Bitcoin resolving either to the upside or to the downside of its micro range. So click this link right here. If you haven't seen my three minute analysis on Bitcoin, you're going to want to watch that before viewing the rest of this video. Are you ready? Let's go. Starting off with Matic, I expected it to come down to the point of control around $1.50. It came up just shy, it went to $1.60, and it's going to start filling out this triangle before it gives an attempt to resolve itself above this trend line that everybody who follows Matic is going to be looking at. It's likely gonna put in some time forming a triangle, which will likely be a little bit smaller than this. Might be at the top of that point of control, I might have to modify this. Instead of focusing on this origin line down here, it looks like it's going to want to hold this or slightly higher a support and that could use see this blue line right here i would call this the three quarters line of the previous range that this asset was developing i would say you would see support somewhere between a dollar 66 to down to a dollar 55 as this triangle is filled out and if bitcoin resolves itself to the upside you would want to draw this trend line that connects the previous highs and lower highs back from December around Christmas time, around January 17th and around February 10th. You're just going to want to connect those because a lot of pattern traders and a lot of other folks, as if Bitcoin breaks to the upside, Matic could have a pretty aggressive response above that trend line, which would very likely take it above $2.11. It would likely ignore this recent local high here, and it would probably try up to something slightly higher, like a two and a quarter up to this wick high here, which gives you all sorts of um, resistance areas in that range, about two and a quarter. I think that would be the range before it cooled down or the price target before it cooled down if Bitcoin resolves itself to the upside and Matic breaks above this trend line. Breaking down to the trend line, if Bitcoin breaks below its range, I think that Matic will essentially fall back into this micro range here that is ranging from $1.30 to $1.80. And I showed you how to set that up in my previous videos. And you would likely get bounce points in very common areas. The point of control around $1.50. However, Bitcoin were to break down and go closer to 40k i bet that uh, matic would find itself testing both this or see this dotted slanted line that is an origin line that goes back to the beginning of price action of this asset which aligns with this one quarter line so this is the bottom of the range one quarter line the blue line here it meets up and i think a dollar 45 would be a likely bounce point either dollar 45 or around a dollar 50 would be the point where matic starts finding support as bitcoin's bouncing around the 40k and change area give me the thumbs up <laughs> Thumbs up. This is going to greatly depend on Bitcoin. So you need to be very familiar with Bitcoin's analysis. This Matic is going to move with Bitcoin. Let's dive into Solana. My previous video was made somewhere in this range of uh, Solana price action. And I mentioned in that video, what you're gonna wanna look for is be on the one hour chart, put on the 200 EMA. And this this uh, bottom part of the channel is the 200 EMA, which became the top side of the channel as it flipped red. So this is the 200 EMA, it's on top. The 200 is on top when it's red and the 55 is on top when it's green. So you have the 55 and 200. And I said, if it's gonna break down, it's gonna break, gonna break below it and use it as resistance. And honestly, it really just fell right through and hit my target of 103, then used it as resistance. So it didn't behave precisely uh, down to the hour candle. Um, however, it did use the top. Of, so I expected it to use the bottom of this channel as resistance before it went to 103, but it fell all the way through, used the top as resistance, which is not nearly as common, hit 103, then used the channel as resistance and then broke down even further. And what you can see in this chart is Solana is really, it, it seems to be bleeding versus Bitcoin. It, it is not looking so hot right now. 
uh, for Solana. I'm not going to lie. And you really just had a pretty big bearish cross of even the daily is now flipping red of this channel. The 55. So this is an EMA death cross, essentially. It's not it's not an official uh, death cross because death cross and golden crosses are based off uh, moving averages, not exponential moving averages. But you have the exponential moving average death cross. So this is the 55 with 200. Uh, this is not looking good while it's bleeding versus Bitcoin, uh, which means as Bitcoin goes, you know, in forms um, the little bit of support back at a horizontal, that means Solana is forming, you know, it's breaking through whatever horizontal it just made. It's making lower lows versus Bitcoins, you know, uh, tagging the lows, for example. And every time Bitcoin goes up a little bit, Solana goes up even less. So Solana is definitely bleeding versus Bitcoin. It's not looking that fantastic. However, long term though, I could see Solana wanting to come up to test uh, its daily 55 EMA uh, right here. If it had a good pump with Bitcoin uh, and if Bitcoin has a range resolution back up to the 50k i think that solana would come right back into this range but it's going to have trouble because it is bleeding versus bitcoin if bitcoin goes up to 50k this is not going to go on a, it, this could have a smaller percentage increase and i think it might have trouble um in the range of about 135 uh, to 145 as bitcoin potentially makes an even bigger percentage gain than this uh, 135 to 145 is going to be tough for solana as it is uh bleeding versus bitcoin i would just mark off a, a rectangle like this if Bitcoin were to resolve itself to the upside this is probably where it's going to go before it cools off and then potentially tries higher as Bitcoin uh, potentially stays strong in that case if Bitcoin breaks back down to 40k since as I said that would be re-tagging lows right or not even getting to its lows but Solana is losing versus Bitcoin I think Solana could go down to its ultimate lows if you know even though Bitcoin doesn't go all the way down to 36 or 30 uh, yeah 36k which is its recent um, lows here I, I think Solana would revisit $81 if Bitcoin uh, resolves itself to the downside, which means Solana will be bleeding versus Bitcoin. So I would say 81 is your downside target in the event that Bitcoin breaks below its current range. Now we're going to dive into Terra Luna. Let's go. In that video, I mentioned that Terra Luna price is either likely going to try to move up towards this range or it will likely go into this section. And I don't anticipate it moving sideways. And that's precisely what it's done. This is uh, coiling up potentially. And if Bitcoin were to resolve itself to the upside, I think that Luna has formed a nice little structure here. It could, it would likely outperform Bitcoin to the upside on a percentage basis. And it would, it's almost definitely going to have trouble getting above this uh, area. But as Bitcoin, point if if Bitcoin resolves itself to the upside heads towards 50K, I bet Luna would do something to this effect. It would come, see how all these lower highs are connected by this uh, little channel here. I think that Luna would have a strong chance in the event Bitcoin breaks up, uh, coming aggressively up here, making a higher low, coiling up again, and then blasting to the upside. I, I think it would give it a try in the event that Bitcoin doesn't just roll over after hitting 50K, which it probably wouldn't. I think Luna would make a double pump in the event that Bitcoin makes a single pump. Uh, that's what I would anticipate. And, uh, and to the downside, though, I think that Luna does have a very, very strong chance of uh, holding on to this uh this origin line here and filling out this triangle before it breaks down. I don't think it would just break down and then re-tag these lows down here. I, I believe that it would tr see this uh, origin line here. I think it would want to try to bounce around before it rolled over because this this origin line provided you know some sort of resistance up here and so support, support, and then resistance uh, and and then support again. So I think this trend line would hold it up for a little bit in the event that Bitcoin could hold on to 40k. I don't think that Luna would just straight up roll over. I think it would try to coil up here and wait for Bitcoin to recover. And that could bring Bitcoin were to uh, head down to 40K. I think Luna would uh, first just dip a little bit below uh, $50 and then potentially, yeah, just dip below a little bit $50, uh, something to the effect of 49 bucks. That And that would be associated with Bitcoin specifically hitting the uh, 40K and change levels so that should associate with Luna at 49 to $50. Turn on your camera and microphone and ask me questions directly and live to my face up to eight times a week. Links to the Discord community within the description section of all my videos. Follow me on Twitter, Colsus Verdes2, for frequent Bitcoin and cryptocurrency updates. If online communities are not your thing, but you want exclusive content above and beyond what I offer on YouTube for free, hit the join button right below this video and another video will pop up describing your options to you. Click this video if you missed my three minute Bitcoin analysis from earlier today and click this video right here if you want to learn how to set up a chart just like mine with a 28 minute trading view tutorial that could save your crypto soul. And if you're new, click subscribe here in the middle. You just get Tim Fad. Well, what? Peace.